Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this adorable crochet beanie using your left hand. I had several people on Facebook ask me if I could create some left-handed crochet tutorials. So I decided to go back to my pattern library and show you guys how to make this beanie. All you're gonna need is a 5.5 millimeter hook and one skein of worsted weight yarn. So get your materials, come back and we'll get started. All right, so to begin making this hat, ooh, look at that, a little pine needle from our Christmas tree, left over. To begin making this hat, it's super simple. You're gonna need a five millimeter crochet hook and just some worsted weight yarn. I have here just some simple Red Heart Super Saver, very inexpensive and easy if you want to whip up a bunch of these for a gift or something. So this is left-handed. Now, please remember I am dominant in my right hand, but I can do stuff with my left. So I might move a little slower, which will be great for beginners. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to chain 30 if you're doing a child's or chain 36 if you're gonna do an adult's. So I'm just gonna go ahead and begin that. So one, Two, All right, so we've chained 30, okay? And I'm making a child's hat, just so you know. Then in the second chain from the hook, so if we're looking here, we've got one, two. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to insert our hook like that. And we're just gonna simply make a single crochet. So that's yarn over, pull through one. We've got two left yarn over, pull through two. So we've got one completed. Then we just continue going all the way down the row into all the chains, making single crochets, just like so. So go into the next one, yarn over, and just like so. It's funny doing it with my left hand, it feels, because I can knit, which obviously involves both your left and your right, it doesn't feel super strange, but it takes me a minute to kind of get used to it. It's just like whenever I'm, I have a son who is left-handed, and so as he's learning his alphabet, I'm trying to write left-handed for him um, so it kind of takes me a minute obviously but if your left hand is your dominant hand you'll do this a lot faster than me but I'm sure that with time I'll get faster but the reason that I'm even providing a left-handed tutorial is I asked the question on my Facebook page which if you're not already following me, I'd love to have you following along over there. Um, I asked on my Facebook page what people would like to see more of, and one of them was left-handed tutorials. And I know that, I have a friend who I taught who's left-handed, and now I have a student who I teach locally as well, 
she is left-handed. And so I was just like, you know what? I need to just learn how to be able to go from start to finish left-handed. Oops. So I'm gonna finish up this row and when I get to the end, I will show you how to begin the next row. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, so I made it to the end and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one and then turn our work like so. Make sure your yarn is at the back. Don't grab the tail. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is if you look at the top right here, let me see if I can shed some more light. If you look at the top right here, you kind of have these little ridges or V's. I like to call them V's when I'm talking to my students. So you've got these little V's. So what we're gonna do is that first V right there, we have our chain one coming out of it. So that is not the one we're gonna go into. Instead, we're gonna go right here into this next one. And we're just gonna go into the back loop. So this would be called a single crochet in the back loop. So the only difference here is instead of going into the whole stitch, we're just going into the back loop of the stitch right there. So we didn't go under both of those. We only went into the one at the back. And now on your own work, um, it's going to be a little bit easier to see than on mine. But like, look here, you see those two V's? Normally you would go under both of those. But to give the hat this nice ridge texture, we're only going to crochet into the back right there. That's it, just the back. So that's the only difference. Just changing that is what gives us that awesome ribbing texture. And you're gonna do this all the way across. And then when you get to the end, I'll meet you and explain to you what else you need to know in order to finish out your hat. So get to the end of this row and then I'll give you the last bit of instructions. All right, so once you're back at the end, we're simply gonna repeat everything we did for row two. We're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn our work and then we're just going to single crochet into those back loops, just like we did. So it's just a insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And just keep doing that over and over again. Don't forget to chain one when you get to the end of the row. And remember, you only want a single crochet into the back loop. So instead of going under both of those, you're just gonna go into the back one. And that's what gives us, like I said, that ribbing texture. Now, if you're making a child size hat, you do this for 64 rows. And if you're making this for an adult sized hat, you'll do it for 64 or more rows, depending on the um, circumference of the adult. But typically 64 rows is kind of perfect for both. Um, the only thing you have to adjust uh, a little bit is obviously the length of the hat. Um, so yeah, it's really that simple. Now I'm gonna finish up my 64 rows here. And once I'm done, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to show you how to seam the hat together and also how to close the top. So go ahead and finish your remaining rows and then I will meet you back here to show you how to close and seam and close your hat. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, so once you have finished your hat, you're going to take both ends 
like so. Let me think about this for a second. Because I'm doing it with my left hand. You're going to take both of the ends. And all you're basically going to do is just single crochet the ends together. So um, right here, you're just going to kind of go under the stitch on this side and then come over to this stitch on the other side. Just trying to make sure that they're um, as even as possible. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull through. So you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those. And then from there, you go into the next stitch and then the next stitch on the other side and just do the same thing. And all you're doing is just creating a seam with single crochets. And you just do this all the way across. Very simple, very easy. So just continue that all the way across, and then I'll show you how to close the top of the hat. All right, so now that we're back at the end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a tail that's long enough so that I can use it to weave in and out of the top. So basically what we're gonna do here is Here's the bottom half of our hat, okay? And right now it's inside out. And obviously you can wear it to where it flips up like that, or you can just have it straight down. But the top, obviously we've got to close. Couldn't find my tapestry needle. Um, it's what happens when you have other crocheters in the house, I suppose. But basically all we're gonna do, and you would do this if you had a tapestry needle, is you're just gonna weave this tail in and out of these top stitches like this. You're just grabbing it and weaving it in and out. And I realize that I am using my right hand, but it's the same whether you use your left or your right. Um, you just weave it in and out of the top stitches. So real simple and the reason we're doing this is let me get a few more done and I'll kind of show you what happens as you um, weave oh my goodness so once you start weaving when you pull that tight you see how it's kind of cinching that together and that's what gives us this kind of closed look here okay so there is no shaping there's no increasing or decreasing in this hat this is very basic very simple so as you go all the way around the hat and you pull that super tight you're then just going to sew close so you take your tapestry needle and you just kind of sew back and forth back and forth back and forth until this is totally closed. And then at that point, you can just leave it bare like this. You can put a pom-pom on top. You can do literally whatever you want. You weave in your ends, and then your end result is a hat just like this. So this pattern is one that um, I have shared on my blog last year, but I asked um, what types of tutorials people would like to see and a left-handed tutorial was what people were requesting I do more of. So this is my very first left-handed tutorial. I hope I didn't confuse you too much as I am mainly a right-handed crocheter but because I knit I felt like I could teach myself to left-hand crochet. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you enjoy this. And if there are other patterns of mine that you would like me to create a left-handed tutorial for, please let me know in the comments down below. And then just give me any um, other things you'd like me to see. Uh, I do read all the comments and I do try to respond as quickly as possible to all of them. So just let me know.
I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. If there are other left-handed tutorials you would like me to do, go ahead and put them down in the comments and also share this video with your left-handed maker friends. I really appreciate your watching and I appreciate you guys sharing this video. It helps me out a lot and I love reading your comments. Um, it helps me to know if I'm making the things that you want to see and all of that good stuff. And if you didn't already know, I'm doing a 90 day YouTube challenge. So I'm posting a new video every single day. So if you have things you'd like me to do or different ideas or stuff that you'd like to see, go ahead and put that in the comments too and I'll read it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.